Good morning, everybody. It's Matthew Graves here from Quick Start Coach with my Facebook Live broadcast. And today, being morning, I think it's a good time that we talk about morning routines. Everybody likes to talk about morning routines as a key to productivity and getting off the day right. So I want to go over a few items that successful people have a tendency to work into their morning routines and how you can set up the morning routine that will get your day off to the best start. So one of the things that most people say about the morning routines is that you should always try to wake up early. Most people uh, can be morning people, even if they don't feel like being a morning person is really the right thing for them. Some people feel like, look, I'm just, it's just not me. I'm not a morning person. But the reality is, is most people can train themselves to be morning people. And most successful people consider themselves to be morning people. So it's not something that you're born with or not born with. It's something that you condition yourself by having the discipline to get up early and start taking action. So my first recommendation is to wake up early. And usually if you wake up earlier, if you can uh, wake up an hour earlier, let's say you normally wake up at six and you decide you're going to wake up at five, it gives you space to have a proper morning routine. Often, maybe even before other people in the house are even awake. So if you've got kids at home and you've got a busy morning routine you have to do with the kids, get up earlier so that you can have your morning routine before everyone else's morning routine that you have to play a part in starts. So make sure that you wake up early. That's very important to have a proper morning routine. The next thing that I would suggest is that you wake up at the same time every day. So have an alarm clock and set. And yes, I mean weekends too. So wake up at the same time every day. And it's not always crucial that you go to sleep at the same time, but always make sure that you wake up at the same time. It gets your body into a rhythm. And again, as I said earlier, it gives you the space for you to have a morning routine independent of everything else in the busyness of life. So make sure that you wake up early and make sure that you get up at the same time every day. Then the next important thing is no social media or email first thing when you get up. I know what the tendency is and I feel it too. You know, if you keep your smartphone there by your bedside, you wake up in the morning and you don't really want to get out of bed and you just reach over for the phone and you say, oh, I'll just check and see what's in my email or I'm just going to check and see if I have any messages on Facebook or what's going on or there's any new updates. Avoid that first thing in the morning because all of those things are not based on the priorities that you have to get done in the day. It's really important that you stay focused on what you need to get done in your morning routine. And the email and social media are actually tying you into other people's priorities, not your own. When somebody writes you an email, it's not because they want you to get what you need to get done. It's because you they want you to do something for them. So you want to make sure that you are focused on what you're trying to get done. So try to avoid email and social media first thing in the morning. Some people have rules where they won't even look at their email before lunch to allow them the entire morning to get the maximum benefit out of that first most productive time of the day. So make sure that you don't immediately go to your email or social media first thing when you wake up. Actually, it's a really good idea to not even have the phone in the same room as you when you're sleeping. That forces you to get up and you can't just grab for the phone in the middle of the night if you're feeling insomnia or you can't just grab the phone first thing in the morning. Get an old fashioned alarm clock or an electronic alarm clock and set it by your bedside. Don't use your phone as your alarm and instead put your phone in another room. That gives you the separation. It's also good for nighttime to have your phone in the other room because it will help you get to sleep rather than having the phone there by your bedside. You know, so if you suffer with problems with getting to sleep consistently every day, 
not having your phone around at bedtime is a good idea. So just set a rule. When you go to bed, the phone stays in the kitchen or the phone goes in the office to charge for the night and stick with that. And that will make that rule of no social media or email that much easier to accomplish. So make sure that you wake up early, go wake up at the same time every day and no social media or email. The next thing that I suggest is obviously immediately get out of bed. So when that alarm goes off, resist that temptation to hit that snooze button. Just set it a rule, alarm is off, out of bed. So immediately stand up and get out of bed. I know sometimes when I hop out of bed, I'm not even fully awake yet, but I'm all I'm up and I'm on my feet and I'm not gonna get back in that bed. It's a rule because you know my body and my brain really wants to just stay in for a little longer, especially if I was up late working the night before. So make sure you immediately get out of bed. Now, the next thing is a recommendation that actually comes from the military, and that is you should always immediately make your bed. Now, it sounds like a small thing. I mean, what does it matter whether you make your bed or not? But it's actually an important thing because it serves two purposes. One is it gives order. It gives order to your life and it allows you to stay focused and stay out of the chaos of the day. So without doing that first thing of instilling that order of a made bed is important to just keep up with the idea that your day is gonna be organized and structured and ordered. And the second thing is, is that it's something that right after you do it, I mean, it only takes a couple of minutes and right after you do it, you got your first win for the day. You've, uh, you've already done and accomplished something. First thing before you've even left the bedroom. So always get up and make sure that you make your bed right away. It's a, a very important rule comes straight from the military. Now, after that, you'll find that different people's routines vary. So some people um, may eat, some people may exercise, um, but you know there's some things that you see that are common parts of successful people's morning routines, uh, no matter what uh, level they come from. The order and the exactness may vary, but usually, most people have some kind of a morning nutrition regime built into their thing. So maybe it's coffee, you know, I like coffee as part of mine. Um, some people wake up and the first thing they do is drink a whole glass of water to make sure that they're hydrated to start the day. So the important thing is that you have something that you go through. I know personally, one of the things that I like to do first thing when I get up in the morning is I immediately go to the kitchen and I get a protein shake and I drink my protein shake first thing. Before coffee, before anything else, I drink that protein shake. And it's just part of a regime that I've learned from Tim Ferriss about the importance of making sure that you are um, getting some protein first thing in the morning to help reset your body for proper nutrition. So um, I have a protein shake first thing before anything else in the first half hour of the day, usually immediately upon waking up. Uh, then maybe you have coffee, maybe you like that caffeine kick, maybe you have water, juice, whatever. Maybe you eat breakfast, maybe you don't eat breakfast. I have my protein shake and I generally then don't eat any solid food right away until at least mid morning. Um, it's protein shake, coffee, and, and then the rest of my routine. But everybody needs to find something that works for them, but have some kind of morning nutrition, drink, whatever, to get your day started. The other thing that lots of people practice in their morning routines would be, you know, what we generally consider these days, mindfulness practice. So maybe it's writing in a gratitude journal of the things that you are grateful for. Maybe it's a few minutes of meditation, just quiet time. Maybe it's productivity oriented with regards to to-do lists and your schedule for the day, but a little bit of mindfulness practice of just making sure that your head's in the right space to face the day is also very important part, that part of your daily routine first thing in the morning. Many people also have exercise as a part of their morning routine when they first get up. Maybe they get on the treadmill or the exercise bike. Maybe they go, go for a walk around the block with the dog. 
they just they want to get that activity level up. And it's very good for a variety of different reasons to have that as part of your morning routine, because that will actually get your body energized for the day. Remember, exercise doesn't take energy. Exercise gives you energy. So getting that heart rate up and getting going first thing in the morning, one is another win. If you're, one of your goals is to make sure that you're getting exercise every day, if you work that into your morning routine, that's another win first thing in the morning to give you the confidence as you go through the rest of the things you do for the day. Uh, so if you can work exercise into your morning routine, that's very important too. The other thing that I like to work into my morning routine each day and that I suggest for a lot of my coaching clients is to work in some learning. So I like to maybe if I go for a walk in the morning, I'm listening to a podcast or an ebook or something on the headphones while I'm doing it. I like to get a little bit of learning in every day because and doing it first thing in the morning is a great time to do it because your mind's fresh and some of those ideas you can then actually start to implement and put into action in the rest of the day. So get some learning in first thing in the day, whatever your primary learning goal that you've set for yourself for this week, month or year, get a little bit of that done first thing in the morning. You know, I find most people aren't spending enough time on making sure that they are continuously learning new things in their fields of interest. So try to squeeze that into your morning routine. Maybe it's 10 minutes, maybe it's 15 minutes, maybe it's full hour. It depends on your timing in your morning routine, but get some learning out of the way first thing in the morning. Again, stimulates the mind, gets you ready for the day. But it's very important to make sure that you stay focused. Successful people, in their morning routines, they follow through the routines and they stay focused on what it is that they're trying to get accomplished. You know, they don't let their minds wander and they don't let their activities wander. You know, it's very easy to wake up in the morning and all of a sudden two hours has gone by and you haven't really done anything meaningful. So make sure that you stay focused and you follow those rules and follow your routine through. Remember, that having structure in your life is what actually gives you freedom. Discipline equals freedom. So if you discipline your morning routine and make sure that you always get those important things from an exercise point of view, from mindfulness point of view, from a nutrition point of view, from a learning point of view, first thing in the morning, it's going to help to shape the entire rest of the day. And that day is gonna help to shape the rest of your life. So make sure that you're staying focused on what really needs to get done. And then after you've done all that, get to work. You know, hopefully you have set up your to-do list the night before and you've already got pre-planned and you know what those three most important things you need to get done today are. And you can immediately tackle that first one and take the one which is going to be the hardest to accomplish. And you come out of that strong morning routine right in ready to crush that first action item for the day. So I hope you found that useful. And I'd love to hear about your morning routines. So if you wanted to post in the comments below this video, what your morning routine is, I'd love to hear it. And I'm sure that the other viewers of this video would love to hear what your morning routine is and get some ideas as to how they can work into their morning routines as well. So make sure that you take advantage of today and make sure that you are always taking action to supercharge your success.